At this hour, there is a move to rename Robert E. Lee Park. It's expected to gain traction with the Baltimore City Council. It's all part of the fallout from the racist gunman who killed nine people in a black church in South Carolina last month. But historians say the country should exercise caution when it comes to looking at our past through present day events. Well, today, it's very easy to say slavery is cruel, it's evil. Of course it is. You know, but 250 years ago, when the vast majority of people were involved with it, you know, some already knew that it was a bad, it was an evil thing. But it was still considered normal in the period. And that's why it's very, it's, it's very complicated to look back at history and try to erase it. Well, it appears that Lee had strong connections to Baltimore, living here for several years, both before and after the Civil War. Historians point out renaming the park as Lake Roland Park could draw its own criticism since the Roland Park neighborhood was one of the city's most exclusive and segregated neighborhoods for decades.